and he is ready for action. And now, ladies and gentlemen, his opponent makes his way to the cage, representing the red corner, fighting out of Hinzo Gracie, the Cove Jiu Jitsu Donovan Vanavan. Donovan Manafan making his way inside the cage. Born of the Muay Thai shorts in this matchup, and he is ready for action. On my right, representing strong arm jujitsu at nine years old, Mason Taylor. Across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, representing Henzo Gracie the Cove Jiu Jitsu. Donovan Van a Van. This fight's being contested in the gray belt 65 pound division. Jose Giannis, your referee. Mason Taylor, Donovan Van a Van, and this match is officially underway. Both competitors coming out in that low grappling stance. Not afraid to go for the takedowns. I like it. Yeah, the young kiddos right here going, going, going in this, going for the hard competition tonight. Oh, this is great to see. I love it. Van a Van. In deep early with that double leg takedown. Let's see what he can make of it. Yeah, Donovan right here. Passing in a north-south position. He got to that situation very quickly. You get the north-south choke. Ask for a better, more experienced referee than Professor Jose Yana's in there. He's looking in close on the action. Our screen with Taylor for the red, Manafam for the blue, and Manafam going for the, I believe that's an anaconda choke, Darce choke for Manafam. Yeah, he's really, he's going for this Darce choke right here. For sure you can tell he's practiced this move many a times. Yeah, Donovan keeps putting that pressure right here from his front headlock situation. That Darce choke, trying to cinch it up a little bit, a little bit more. But Mason Taylor, he's staying tough right here. Stays tough in the position. Nice job with Donovan and putting Taylor to his back. Taylor in trouble. Can he survive this? He's doing a good job in trying to create space. See if he can break the grip. Referee looking close in on the action. An all offense from Donovan Manofan so far. This matchup. Taylor working his way back up to his base. Yeah, it's great to see the young competitors for sure. The future of this sport, you know what I'm saying? Anafam now. And in the score and taking the back. Looking for the rear naked choke. Can Taylor survive this? Yeah, great, great combination right there from Anafam. Looking for the back take, little heavy, falls to his back, but then he just puts it in combination now for this triangle choke. Oh, nice job there from Taylor for yeah, was a good getting out of that position. He did, yeah, Taylor did do a good job right there of getting out of that position right here. Now he's looking to wiggle out of the legs right here, trying to take top position, but Manafan reverses it. Now he's back on top again with the pressure. Wow. Let's see what Taylor can do from this spot. Awkward position here. And upside down triangle there for Taylor. Can he make something happen of this? Manafam creating space. Yeah, he did a great job right there of escaping two bad positions to then get his legs involved from his guard. And now he's in an inverted triangle situation right here. I love to see it. I love to see it. Some great stuff from both of these kiddos. Like I said, it's just so great to see the future, the future Whoa. of martial arts right here. You know what I'm saying? Taylor now has Manafam in trouble. You don't see this submission too often. This is. Bet you're gonna see this more from the kids because not many adults are as flexible to pull this one off. Wow, the child buggy choke from Taylor. Anafam goes to his back to see if he can relieve some pressure. Professor Jose Yana is looking close in on the action, making sure that Manafam still has his wits about him. Yeah, that was great from Taylor to get to that position. Reverses it, now he's on top. Putting okay. a squeeze on. Unorthodox submission attempt here from Taylor. 
some great, great stuff from both of these kiddos. Uh, it, it really brings a smile to my face right now, seeing them, seeing them under the bright lights right now, competing on such a big stage like Elevate FC tonight. Wow. Great opportunity for both of these kids. Short time left in this matchup. 65 pound gray division. You're kind of at a stalemate here. Taylor have enough to finish this submission. Romanifam able to escape out. And right now, how much time is this eating up? How, how is Judge Edgardo Caminos going to score this? Manifan had maybe two submission attempts early on. This is Taylor's first submission attempt of the matchup, but it's taken up quite a bit of the duration. Yeah, both of these competitors have had their moments in this match, you know what I'm saying? Manifan with the early offense, and then Taylor now bringing the offensive submissions later in the match right now. I love to see it. A great, great back and forth competition from both these two. Scramble there from Manafam. Ends up once again in that north-south position. Taylor there showing his flexibility, trying to wrap those hooks in and see if he can make a fancy reversal there. He's almost there. Yeah, he's, looking, he's looking for the back take right here, and now he gets into a close guard. I believe that is time there, called wow. by referee Jose Yanez. Great matchup, great display of technical ability from both of these competitors. I had to give a slight edge to Manafam for a number of submissions attempted there. Taylor came along, came along strong midway into the match and had that submission threatened for quite a long duration. Yeah, it was a great match for sure. Just to see the technical ability of these young men. Bright future, bright future but for both these two kiddos. Incredible. And we make this Ladies match up official. Your winner by decision, fighting out of the red corner, Donovan Manafan. Great job to Donovan Manafan and great job to Mason Taylor himself in a decision victory here. Both competitors putting on great technical ability out there in our first and 